All right, yeah, you should be good. Ready? Yep. Hello, my dear friends. It's Corona time. We all are locked in our rooms and in our houses. We are not going outside. So why not try something erotic and exotic? Have fun. So we're not alone. We're not alone. No, 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 no. It may seem like you're a lonely, but you are not alone. If anybody cares about me, don't go see their movie because I will make mine way fucking radder if you just Venmo me a dollar. Just a buck. They, they tell you if you're a man, don't cry. That's cat. Planet of the Apes wasn't even in Africa. I was just saying there's a lot of black people there. I put the H on it to emphasize it's nigga. I need help. Yes, I, I use nigga. I'll, I, I, I've used it. If you send a hundred bucks, I'll remember your name and write it down and straggle. Get away from the door, nigga. The hawking will continue until freedom improves. Would you like to thank your mom? I don't not explain nothing to y'all motherfuckers. Y'all explain that shit to your mom. I don't do this shit. I do this shit every day and day. My mom take care of my black ass. Maybe it's the church. Talk to the Pope. He knows everything. I had it. I'm gonna die. How can you die when you're dead? We have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger. But the N word, you won't say. We have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shot. We have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shot. Nigger. <laughs> Welcome to War Mode. Okay, should he play with girls? Yes. That's good. That's real good. Definitely. He should play with girls. Absolutely. Adult males should play with women. Like big boys. Like big boys. So he's learning to play with the girls. Good. You can't make the whole everybody not on that gay shit. Everybody don't want to get fucked in the head. Everybody don't want to suck another nigga dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm so relieved to... Everybody not with that shit. <laughs> What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? Who's going to investigate the investigators? Who's going to investigate the prosecutors? Who's going to hold them accountable? Who's going to hold us public officials accountable? And that's all we're trying to do here, among trying to, in addition to trying to find the truth. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe that Sandy Hook actually happened? Yes or no? Uh, All right, number two. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. It's only just begun. Now you can just talk into it like normal. <laughs> yeah. That's some good stuff right there. I am the streamlimer. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? This is so weird. Yeah, so we got a new setup because Matt and Shane took the steering wheels off. We got to be big boys. Fucking Training rip. wheels. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> the Roadcaster Pro is fucking sick. This is the sickest thing I've ever purchased in my life. Now we can play clips and be normal fucking dudes. And we got new mics. I mean, this is crazy. And I feel like I'm a professional podcast right now. And we're in each other's ears right now, which is also very weird. But I, dude, I think that is the final form of intros. What? Like me and you come, me and you doing them together. That's just what happened. That yeah. is what it is. It is I'm, <laughs> I'm real confused. Like I didn't think that this thing would like process audio like that. But if it is like going through here and making it sound better through the intros, I hope it is. I don't know what it sounds like to the fans. I, I mean, we listening. tested it, so it should sound normal. Yeah. And then we got fucking, we we, um, uh, we took a loan out. This is inside get baseball, mics. dude. They don't need to know. They but don't now, need to know at, you have a spending at least problem. People like Tom, they're 10 feet away from the mic. They're afraid to get in there. Yeah. Now, now you can hear them completely Problem fine. solved. All you through know? computers. I don't have to do fucking anything. This is technology, dude. 
I am the streamliner. Maybe I did the, the technocrats are good. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, not at all. What the fuck? What was the first thing I looked up? We were going to talk about the cars. Yes, bro. You're going to tell me the technocrats. And look, are, yeah. You can barely hear it when there I hit the fucking go, boom. New, yeah. booms. new booms. New booms. New bill. New booms. New, new bikes. New board. All right. Anyway, yeah, they're uh, they're doing um, subscription based platforms for like Teslas, Lexuses, and shit like that. They're I mean, trying to cripple me, dude. I say buy as many old cars as you possibly can because you're going to be worth a fuckload of money. It, like, dude, they're going to like shut you down. Yeah. Like, if you're driving and you don't have like a vaccine my passport man, or something. My, my uh, safari is going to look like the old Star Wars ships that they, they like have to rebuild. <laughs> dude, just get another Not guy, like dude. something from like Naboo. Like I'm talking about like <laughs> something from the original New Hope. <laughs> dude, that it's fucking weird because it does make sense. Like an X-Wing. If you're like rich as fuck, I guess this makes sense because there's probably a bunch of shit you don't use in a car. And you're like, I want the Denali for this reason. But I don't need all this other shit. Like it makes sense, but at the same time, chill with the subscriptions. The what are you talking about? The subscriptions, I what what was the Denali stuff you're talking about? So like what they're saying is like say you want like you love Denali's because they have power windows and remote start from the app. Right. And the base model can't get that. That's so, an app. So well, this is what they're gonna make it. They're gonna make uh. all the technology in an app or you have as as a subscription. So if you want a remote start. That'll be five dollars a month. Instead, like yeah, you're either fucked and you have to get a base model. Like uh, this is creating a wealth gap, dude. Yeah, it's, like there's gonna be freak shows on the road, and then there's gonna be people in regular looking cars. I'm out here snapping door handles, and people are getting subscriptions on their shit. And then they have you by the balls because, dude, Netflix just raised their subscription to twenty a month. What? Yeah, Netflix is twenty bucks a month. Ah, cancel. I barely ever watch Netflix. It's I so watched bad. The Swindler. That was about it. <laughs> I, I had to check it on my... That was fraud, too. They said that there was an update on that. What do you mean? Like, f remember, like, that was on YouTube a couple years ago? Oh, they said that movie was like the an ad update on what like, happened? The ad for that was like, um, you know, the girls get revenge. The girls got bodied. You yeah, know why? Because the man that won. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. homeless king. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to hear any more arguments about oppression. That dude was fucking with people. Saying picking people up in Rolls Royces and jets, all this shit. First thing that one girl said to him, who hammered her face with fucking plastic surgery, little short for my liking. Like this dude has a fucking private jet. The first thing you're thinking about is little short. Yeah, I mean, that, that is the way it is. It's real fucking racism. The, um, sh the short stuff is real fucking across racism. the board. Yeah, and, it, and it, yeah, literally, and all it's races. provable. Yeah, they get paid less. They have worse lives, worse quality of life for sure. Yeah, I mean, people fucking respect tall people. This is what I, 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 like, I don't hate women, but I would love, I, like, I love when Tommy Pope calls them pig. Like, that's a pig. Oh, I mean, to get like, those chicks like are that. pigs, dude. Be like, oh, did you go on Tinder right after that? Of course, like immediately. Yeah, the chick probably never got off Tinder. Probably had multiple accounts. That yeah, that chick like the way they were crying. She's like, well, I am a victim. It's like you're kind of really dumb. Like if you are going on a jet with a dude day one of meeting him to Bulgaria or wherever the fuck he went, like, get human trafficked. Like, that's number <laughs> yeah. one way to get, like, it's like, oh, how is this happening? It's like, oh, wait, never mind. Girls are retarded. It is funny, too. Like, they, there's no, there's no, this guy's tight. He's well-versed in legal, legalese. Yeah. And, like, they can't bust him. He got in a little bit of trouble in Israel, five months. Fifteen. Fifteen, whatever. Yeah. Probably got a pat on the back being like, way to go, buddy. Yeah. That, that was insane. Like, that guy completely fucked them. They tried to turn around and, like, make it, like, a success story for the chicks. All those chicks got tricked. They're still paying off the loans. They're all still paying off the loan, and yeah. the one chick made 10 Gs selling fucking used clothing. Yeah. No, they got ruined. But. They lost that. My, I, like. The dude did a little bit of time. 15 months and probably chilled and has an Israeli fucking supermodel wife now or nah, girlfriend. Not my, not my cup of tea, bro. Yeah. That is crazy how they're fucking like in the middle of the desert and fucking white. Anyway, what else is up? <laughs> no, not that. That was just insane. Like that whole story was just crazy. Yeah. Like all, all you chicks cry all day long. Like maybe don't go on Tinder. If that's what's going on on Tinder. Also, my game's trash compared to that guy. I need to start calling girls honey. I need to call, start calling them sweetheart. In a month, fall in love with them. I mean, the one was yeah. immediate. And yeah. the dude had a kid. Yeah, she's dumb. She's in love with the life she could live. 
Yeah, that, that like, was it. It's all beaches and yachts and all that stuff. Yeah, they really just, they don't Set. love you for you. Not those pigs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but back to the fucking. They're, sweet, they're sweethearts out there. there I, what I'm doing is like, I'm maturing my seed. So like by the time it's ready for me to be with one, I'm going to be very picky. Obviously, dude. I'm not gonna the give the, I'm not gonna press. hold on to this thing for fucking ninety days, dude. I'm gonna hone a wand that's got a ninety day load in it, uh, and it's like, bro, whoever receives that receives that. You gotta bro. be careful, that, dude. That, that you, might, you might become Sith with such a wand. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. You have Do to it. practice the way of the Jedi, dude. You can't go Sith with a ninety day wand. <laughs> That'll be bad. Yeah, yeah. That'll be friends. <laughs> Friends, you can call up and do sit things with. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fun. It's just to gonna be ninety days. I'm gonna be banging my head on the door, <laughs> yeah. like freaking out. I'll tell you what, dude. I mean, proof's in the pudding. What are we on? Day twelve, I think. I see your glow. Day twelve. We're manifesting. I mean, manifest like crazy. I mean, if you're on SR, you manifest like crazy. Like you probably looked at all this sound stuff before. And it was on your phone, whatever UI you were using. And then you were like, oh, I'm going to buy that. This is really expensive. I'm going to level up my life. And then you were like, also, let me open up the, the hub. Let me give it up to the hub real quick. Then you took a nap. Yeah. You spilled. Then you took a nap. I'm not much of a napper, but I get what you're saying. Whatever, dude. I mean, you get distracted. <laughs> start looking at Instagram. No. Start looking at thoughts. And then we don't get the roadcaster. I, w- I always saw it now like. Now you're clean? We're yeah. pros. Now that I'm clean, it's not only the road, like this whole setup. I have my truck has been shit bald hammered for fucking <laughs> yeah, your truck is rough. six months inside. I had a blanket in the back. I had suit pants. You look in the like back. you live in there. Yeah, it was fucked up for a while. And you know what I did? Went into the yard, opened all my doors, threw out fucking everything, and got a blower. Blew all the dirt out of it. Now I'm riding around style, and I have one little Wawa trash bag hanging off my rock form yeah. magnet to put trash. Doing in. all that instead of jiggling your worm. Yeah, sir. I mean, don't know if it's. Um, what do you want to call it? Uh, Don't know where you're going. Can't help you out with the word. You eat the pill. It's not real. Placebo. Placebo. <laughs> fucking A. Yeah. See, we thought I was going to be smarter during the daytime, but this is a much nicer setup. Doing it during the day, I'm good. We'll get there, dude. We, yeah. If we get used to this, this is the big success. Yeah. We this all, is the mighty success that we, we could have. <laughs> we also hear ourselves, which is yeah. fucking bizarre. Very bizarre. Let us get used to it. If but, this one is a weird podcast... Chalk it up to the new tech. New tech, better yeah. sound though. But uh, yeah, I mean, I thought this was going to be impossible because Matt was gatekeeping professional recording. First of all, <laughs> I mean, the listeners, because this is an audio format and they should only be listening. Yeah. The gear that you bought looks so cool. Yeah. Like that shit over there, no offense, That that's trash. Obviously. That's Sony guts. I need a beanie. Yeah. I mean, this is very like, this looks like skater stuff. I'm Tim Pool. It comes with stickers. Yeah, it's fucking sweet. Yeah. But yeah, I, w- I just thought this shit was impossible. I mean, you are doing a lot of crazy tech stuff right now. And then some, someone yeah. told me, hey, we're taking all the podcast equipment out of the house. F- you- Got activated. Thank God you're on that you were on day- SR because we would have been wallowing. I'd ha- with I'd have- you would have been like, I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't know. I don't know when we'll do it. Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. You'll be like that. Now I'm all fucking business. And we're we're back in action, and dude, this is this is a safe podcast. It's a podcast that doesn't use stuff like the N word, dude. <laughs> we're nice. <laughs> Hear that, Spotify? We're real good. Don't take any of our episodes down because we don't say any bad shit. We'll have Joe on though. Yeah, well, I mean, once he gets canceled and everything, it's it's absolutely insane that they're trying to do that. Yeah, I was listening to something. I can't remember what it was, but they were like, "Oh yeah." They're going to knock him out before the elections. They can't have him. With that much of a platform? Yeah. They can't have him doing this, um, having doctors on and all that. They can't have him around anymore. And the election's coming up in November, like mid, whatever the fuck they are. We're halfway through? Uh, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, that was, like, a thing that I heard. I I didn't, like, look into it or anything. He's getting so powerful, and the fucking news is getting so shitty, and. I'm surprised they haven't attacked him before. So it's like, I'm here we go. Yeah, literally. Because yeah. he had all those guys on about Big Pharma. They were they were feeding him the right guys. Yeah. And then he wasn't, like, they, he was giving them the right guys and at the beginning. Yep. And then. Yeah. Who was that guy? What was that guy? I hate that fucking guy. The guy that was. Uh, from Duke or whatever. 
Uh, what do you call it? Curry hates him. Yeah, fuck. Often, or... You have it. It's on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. That was I mean, I drank too much coffee. I'm on day 12, I think. My heart's pounding. Really? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. The, all those, like, he was extremely afraid of coronavirus, all this stuff. Just being a completely normal dude. And then once, like, everyone else, we're going to sit here and pretend. And just keep being He doesn't scared. play like, pretend, dude. It's like, dude, it's just over. Like, th- these are the facts. You're fucking har- harming people with horrible vaccines, which you've been doing forever. And then you come in big farmers' pockets, and then immediately it's like, dude, how long has R- Rogan got a hundred million dollar deal? You don't think they know that he said the n word? Oh yeah, obviously. It's just I wonder like they pulled shit. down one hundred and thirteen uh, episodes. I wonder if they had people listen to them, or if it's like a computer that does it. Definitely a computer, dude. There, there's there's uh, no- dude. Spotify definitely has a hundred or a. Th- 2,000 people. You're not get- sitting down some tranny on SSRIs and having them take out the first quarter of Rogan's catalog, dude. That's a fucking computer. Yeah, good point. <laughs> they would fucking kill themselves by the end of that, dude. <laughs> that whole entire office would be on fire. Right, they'd probably need, like, therapy. Yeah, it'd be like the dog. Like a little pause break where they're like, can't anymore. It would be the dog with a fucking little top hat with the room burning. There's no way. That is a fucking computer software. But it's the same shit with Shane. It's like, dude. You knew what the guy was about. You, you've you seen yeah. him. You paid him $100 million for a fucking reason. Yeah. And then it has to be the fucking big farm of money. There's another thing I heard, like, where they were talking about, they were discussing the whoopee thing. And they're like, why can't they just have, like, the internet's not going to be for, er- like, everything's not going to be for everyone. You know what yeah. I mean? So, like, just let it the fuck go. It's been like, like that since the dawn of time. You know what I mean? Like, like, if there's shit that you don't like, shut it the fuck off. Cancel your subscription. Whatever. Yeah. You know I, I mean? Like it's it is bizarre because like that that has just been the internet this whole time and then once the COVID shit happened a little bit before that it's like they tried to it's like they were like ah oh, dude we're losing legacy media let's try to take over the internet you yeah. know what I mean this is them they did they took over YouTube I mean for now yeah all the YouTube like, like the tech of YouTube still exists it's just no one can really fucking put it together because I'm sure that Google squashes it fuck yeah they like can- if anything gets close to this stuff. I'm sure big tech shuts it down. Yeah, it probably takes an epic amount of bandwidth because every video platform, there's like YouTube seems as simple as this setup we got right here. There's no way that it's hard to make a YouTube. It's just them throttling you and not letting you get all the bandwidth, hogging yeah. all the gigabytes, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being pigs. Yeah, but it, it is, it's infuriating to sit there and watch people act mad because like I've seen like. Who's mad? What are you talking about? The liberals, dude. The trendies? The trendies and the liberals. Get him mad at the end word. The pot-bellied hipsters? You lived with <laughs> one that would sit on your front porch and scream it. Oh, yeah, that was... And now he's transing. Bro, they're not mm. mad. They're mentally unstable. These people are mentally unstable. Yeah. They don't care. This is... I had a look at all this fucking Twitter shit. Well, they... I mean, dude, they're trendies for a reason. Because it's like, oh, what's, what's cool now? What's okay to do I'm now? In. Like, they constantly, you know... It's cool to go on Twitter. It's cool to go by your profile or yeah, by your pronouns. Uh, me and I, yeah. <laughs> me and I. I'm so surprised no one has taken those because they are the funniest pronouns. Yeah, me, me and I. Me. me and Bill have pronouns. Me and I. <laughs> yeah. Me and me have pronouns, dude. Please don't be a bigot. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a bunch of fucking crazy people. But like that dude you live with, who's a fucking full blown hipster, they're doing whatever's cool. Back in fucking mm. 2009, to scream on a front, sit on front porch and scream the n word, that was fucking cool. He was trying to be a big rock star punk guy. And now he sucks birds and he wants to take his dick off. You want to know why? Because he's crazy. That's a crazy <laughs> yeah, person. Yeah, All these needs people help. are crazy. I wonder what happens like when you go into a, like somehow that was a combination of either psych meds or therapy that took him down this fucking yellow brick road. Dude, it is the <laughs> hellscape like, how, that is West Philadelphia. How the fuck do you go from being a normal dude? Like, I don't believe all this trans shit is always inside people. Not at all, dude. Yeah, I think they get tricked. E- literally everyone, I mean, you know, everyone got tricked together. It a fucking fake vaccine. West Philadelphia is a fucking hellscape. You want to talk about all those fucking hardos that are like bomb the Middle East? Turn West Philadelphia to glass. That place is <laughs> fucked. Like the vibe in that place, everyone around there, they're all pushing each other to just like mental lunacy. And like, it's just one person after another, like, oh, this is cool. And then you can't say no. So it's a bunch of people. It's just what it looks like when you just don't put your foot down ever. Yeah, they don't draw a line. There's no lines yeah. drawn. It's like your neighbor starts coming onto your porch and hang out. You're like, yeah, it's fine. That's cool. It's all right. Then he's in your house. Then he's fucking your wife. And then you can't do anything about it. Yeah, yeah. It is kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, but like the way that happens is just people just go with what's cool. They, they don't want to be for themselves. Literal trends. 
don't want to stand for anything. You know how uh, you. This is fucking great. You know dude. how you get a fucking. Bill's new kick of stand for something. <laughs> uh, dude, what is happening right now? I just, I just love it when you're like, and nobody stands for anything. What do you call dude. someone who is. <laughs> it kills me. Who is, they should stand for something. I mean, dude, what do you call someone who 10 years ago is constantly saying, fag at this, fag at this? Funny. And then 10 years later is like, I am a trans and I don't think any of that stuff's cool. Well, the crazy, yeah, for real. The craziest thing is that there, it's not just that. It's also like anti-white people. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like... I'm chill as fuck. I know, but I, I'm telling you, man. That's an agenda. Yeah, for some odd reason, they're fucking pushing it. But, like, all I want people to do is, like, it's not being... It's not like they're, like, oh, being open-minded about everybody. Yes. It's, like, it's everybody but certain dudes. Me and I's. Yeah, I's and me's. Me and me's. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Me or I, I or me. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean... But this is what happens. Like, I'm not saying be stuck in your ways and be like, oh, nope, I'm not going to believe in any you of that stuff. Then the stand for something. Just, just like, dude, have some ground rules. Like, hey, I don't want to watch you get bowled out. I just want to be a husband and a wife with you. That, with one that, I can't imagine. I, that one I can't imagine. But, I mean, th this is, nobody can really relate to that because it's like point whatever percent of the population. But it's crazy. In West Philadelphia, it seems like yeah, that but I is mean, the norm. Sure, but I'm saying, like, we're talking to people that have no idea what that is. You well, know what I mean? What West Philadelphia is. I think a lot know. of people have those sex of groups. No, they don't. That's really? what I'm saying. Yeah, like, they move we're here. We're that fucked. They move here from across the country. Oh, my God. Yeah, this isn't, like, something that's happening all over the country. Dude. This is just us. We are fucked. To live a godless, debaucherous life? They came here because it was safe. I did not. I thought yeah, everyone nah. had trying to catch, like... It's literally, like, San Francisco. Thank I would say that... Dude, I heard this from a trans. From a trans. Yeah. I heard, I heard that this is a... Uh, they move from all over the country because they have a, a network to keep them safe. Damn. And then remember when they got bombed? Yeah, that was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. That, but that was like, they're crazy because like, yo, if, if West Philly... I mean, it was just like quarter stick of dynamite, I think. Yeah. It wasn't a funny prank <laughs> by brave minorities. Yeah, dude. brave minorities. Yeah, but uh, I just think if people, if you stood for, if you have a little bit of ground rules, maybe we wouldn't yeah. be getting into these weird situations. Maybe if someone's like, yo, chill, I don't want to deal with this shit right now. Yeah. We would maybe be in a better place than making you a Nazi if you say no to fucking anything. Yeah, there's certain days there's certain days when I used to walk my dog in the park that would shock Alex Jones. Like if I took Jones there yeah. and he talks about all trendies and hipsters and all that shit, I've been to Austin. It's like I could take you to a park, bro, in the summertime that would melt your fucking head. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> it is very fucking yeah. confusing. But I mean, you know, that's a rare thing. Yeah, but now they're up in um, Antifa is up in Canada, counter protesting the truckers. My truckies who are against vaccine mandates from private companies getting and pushed by the government. They want all mandates. They want all government yeah. mandates. All of them. The anti-fascists. That'd be great. But, I would love it if they if they were just like, "Yo, it's over," because it's over. I think this is part of the Rogan thing. What? Like it's fucking over. They lost, dude. Like uh, Europe. Big pharma stuff? Like, Europe's like, dude, we're done. We're done with the mandates. Canada's, like, going through this shit right now. It's yeah. like America and Canada are, like, still holding on, but they will they will release everyone else. Yeah, I think fucking America is just as bad as Canada, but they're just, people are way chiller about it. Like, they're not, they're they're like, yeah, these are the mandates. Some people, like, you, you're not affected. It's not as bad. Canada was like, everyone's fucking shut down. No one can go yeah, out. Canada's America, it's like, dude. you go out to the suburbs, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You come into Philadelphia, you get shit. Yeah, well, I think it's over. They lost, and like they're they're grabbing at straws. Yeah, I'm, and like they're just gonna jump to the next thing, and the next thing is probably gonna be this like weird purge of anybody that stepped out of line online talking. Uh oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm telling you, I can't say nigga because they let him go on. They let Rogan go on for probably a year too long for their oh, for yeah. their like um, agenda. They probably should have shut him down after he had the good guys on. The good guys were... Remember the one where Rogan was like, I don't understand these anti-vaxxers, man. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, remember that guy? Right before right before uh, yeah. he got the vaccine, he was saying that shit. Yep. But, like, when I'm watching the truckies protest up in Canada, they're dickheads. Not the truckies. The the people, like, yeah, yelling no at shit, them. Dude. 
It's like go home. Dick That's shit. how I get treated by like most people. Like, you I, don't interact with like the, that tier of society. Like I work for them. Dude, like yeah. that bubble jacket fucking dude. Like that dude. The is The bubble jacket brutal. is the worst. Yeah. I I just don't understand. Like they preach all this shit and then turn around. They're just absolute dicks to fucking um. Yeah. People are just trying to get like bro. do their job because you want dude, them to stand for something. This shit will be shut down. What? All this, if you if you shut down the trucks, like, you are fucked. Especially there. I think Canada is, like, way more separated than the United States. Yeah, their ports are probably brutal. No, I'm saying, like, they're in between towns. Like, they need truckers more than we need truckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I just, I really hope that this is, like, remember uh, the movie PCU? Yeah, dude. I feel like this is, like, the end of that era of... I'm shocked they never made a sequel to that during this whole fucking shitstorm. I think it would... That guy got canceled, though. For what? Uh, I think he had a Me Too. Really? Yeah. Jeremy Piven. Played I'll look it up. Girl? Yeah, I'll look it up. I think Piv's got a Me Too hard in the beginning. Yeah, I think that'll be... If this is the end of all that shit, that'll be very fucking chill. Because at this point, like... I'm not even mad about lockdowns anymore. I'm not sad about not going out. I'm just like, I can't, I don't even remember. Dude, they defeated me. I don't even want to go out anymore. Yeah. But I there's nothing I want to do because I forgot it all. Yes. And I'm on day 12 and they, they're not ready for the person that April will 25th. be. The dude that's going to be there wherever I am. Yeah. That guy, the world's the not ready for that motherfucker. Known as Andrew yeah. or Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That like, I, I try to think about it. Like I want to go out and just like. Even to go out, like, you have to be living on a lying vibration to go out and be like, yeah, I'm vaccinated, here's my card. Yeah, dude, Pivs got busted in uh, 2018, which was pretty much, like, the beginning. What's was, he look like? That sounds very He's familiar. the main guy. I don't remember. I PCA. saw it, like, five years, or more than that, six years ago. He's in Entourage? Okay. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this is just some weird cycle where, like, we're in PCU world and this shit's going to die the fuck off. Hold on, I'm looking up uh, Piv's Entourage. Keep yeah, talking. I, I also never watch Entourage. So He's Ari it. Gold. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember the movie now, yeah. You're just pretending. No, I, I don't. You're I, just totally fucking faking that. You don't he, remember. He's. I do. I, I do. just looked that up for no reason. What? <laughs> I looked up his name for no reason. Ari what? Gold, did you even watch Entourage? I know who Ari I Gold I never is. even saw one, one episode. I didn't watch it either because I think it's Sex in the City for men. <laughs> but it is what it is. People, my my whole group chat loves Entourage. I think it's yeah, the gayest shit in it. the world. I, I don't know. I mean, Savage said the first season's good. Yeah. Much, yeah. Much That's like good. every show. Yeah. yeah. They did the same thing with Billions. They ran into the fucking ground. Billions wasn't even that good. It was just fucking something to watch. Yeah. And then it's like, dude, there's no, like, show me one non-binary woman who's a fucking account analyst who's a goat. Doesn't exist. That was a tough sentence. There's yeah. a lot of... Yeah, I mean they. Yeah, they, I don't. Um, they throw it into everything. I thought, like, I saw the Lord, the Lord of the Rings stuff. It's like, God damn, that's boys. fake. I don't know. I saw that thing on. Is that real? What? Like that picture of the? Definitely. Nah, I can't. Yes. What? Yes. The, like they're they're that's just a fake meme. Black Hobbit hands. I swear to God, I think Black that's Hobbits. Real. <laughs> I That's think fake. it's real. I just, I don't know why they had, like, they pushed, they almost tried to, like, fuck with you when they pushed that shit. It's like the whole show was already written with what, from what you I told me. I get fired me. up because it is just, it's, first of all, it's fantasy. Yes. Right? All right. Just, I know that nothing's equal and there's been centuries of colonization. Yeah. And nobody was educated. Definitely in my the dark fault. continent. <laughs> yeah. And it's definitely your fault. But, like, dude. I'm very sorry. Here's Tolkien. Lived a life, had an experience. Yep. Came up with this fantasy story, which is very descriptive of what everyone. That's what liked. I was gonna say. How like how very, in depth like, do they it's go? It's insane. The Silmarillion is like the Bible of this world, so they can't even. What? Yeah, dude. There's a there's a literal like Genesis story of Middle Earth. Dude, that dude was probably on God mode to make a Bible I, I for a world. There you're used in. to be an urban legend that he smoked PCP. I don't know how true that is, <laughs> but. Like, so here you got Tolkien, right? Mm. And, you know, you're going to, nothing against black dudes, but you're going to throw some black dudes in Middle Earth. Yeah. I don't know if they existed or not. I'm not an expert. Maybe it's somewhere deep in the Similarillion. Yeah. Right? Which he never finished. His son finished it. Okay. But just flip it around. Is there some fucking African 
author who's written a trilogy of books Roots. that went around the world, right? Yeah. And then it was like this great thing. And then we, like, you took that. And if, imagine what would happen if you chucked a white dude in there, bro. Yeah, the people's As the actor. Explode. People fucking lose their shit. Yeah, I, I just don't get it because I'm sure. It was like, oh, cool. African guy wrote a fucking story all about black people. Oh, hold on, though. We're going to chuck some white hobbits in there. Yeah. People will lose their minds. And, dude, like. It's not a big deal. I don't give a fuck. It's just, it's just another thing that they're doing where you're like, okay, yep. And there's a like, dude, you keep pushing. You keep pushing. People yeah. are going to get tired. And I'm a good one. Yeah. There's bad boys out there, dude. You're a real normal guy. There's bad, there's dudes that will see this and lose their shit. Yeah, and, like, dude, like, there's definitely fucking young black kids making, like, books and shit. Well, or, first like, of all, black dudes love fucking Lord of the Rings. Yes. So, I mean, it was cool before. It was cool the way it was. They, I mean, it's, it's weird that they fucking fuck with, no offense to you, <sighs> but the Star Wars and Lord of the Rings yeah, guys. Flip the table, dude. Just the guys. Like, why do you fuck with them? If there's all this fantasy to be had, why do you got to remake all the Star Wars and why do you got to remake... There's nothing to make for the cool guys. What, are you going to remake sports? What? (laughs) What do you mean? Like, why are they picking on dudes like me? Well, why not just make a new one? Why do you got to remake something that... They they can only manipulate. They can't create. And you know that. (laughs) That's a cult following. Yeah, they're Satanists, dude. Yeah, it just it just really upsets me that like they're they're gonna fucking piss people off and just cause more division from this. It's no big deal. It's just fucking goofy. Where it's like, all right, now where where in Middle Earth are these dudes from? Who's the guy are you telling me that the Shire had a little black neighborhood I never heard about? Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> like, who's in the writing room? That's just like Black Hobbit. <laughs> where are we on this? They had to just be like, come where, on, dude. where are? Let, what's the temperature on a Black Hobbit? <laughs> But, dude, it would be funny, please. We'll say it's cool, <laughs> put it through. I know Beetlejuice. Yeah. Be I mean, I got guy. a midget in my neighborhood that I get pumped every time I see him, so. Yeah. But, fucking A. I think we had, I had something else for you, too. But I can't remember. Oh, the fucking drag queens in the church. Yeah, I mean, I didn't believe that was a real clip. It is. Yeah, it's from a year ago. That's from before the pandemic, dude. Is like, it? The pandemic's been two years, bro. That said 2020. Yeah, that was yeah, two year, Whatever, yeah. A year and a half ago. It's, yeah, dude. You're getting lost. What? Dude, of course I'm getting this lost. It's going man. on forever. Yeah, man. Yeah, I just... I don't understand. Yeah, we're like, going to lose... We're going to lose track of all... Of everything. Well, we're that's... going to lose our minds, bro. That's textbook stand for something. What? Like, stand oh, for something? Like, not hot... Let's try not to yes, high-five the drag queens that stay are... Stay in the bar for a bruisy br- boozy brunch on a Sunday. Maybe don't come into fucking church. What? What are you talking about? The drag queens. Oh, they, they get pre- paid to do that. I understand that, but yeah. it's like, keep that at brunch. That's church. You think that the drag queens are at the brunches? They are. They have them right. in Philadelphia where they all, like, all these fucking dumb... They get paid to do that, too, right? Yes. Yeah. Church donations are going towards that. I'm sad, bro. I just don't understand why, like, why do you have to push that on the little kids? You're going to confuse the shit out of little boys, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's the point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think, think that's the point of like the over the top pride parade drag queen stuff. I'm no. pretty sure the point is to confuse the little bros. Yeah, that, uh, like that is fucking. It's this like it like actually pisses me off. I get very yeah. angry when I see that shit, and I just don't understand why they have to keep pushing on the little kids. Yeah, I've seen you get visibly angry when dudes are helicoptering their birds in front of a five year old. No you know, point. That Pride Parade videos are nuts. They don't. You're they don't Jesse help Lee the Peterson. Case. I am Jesse Lee Peterson, <laughs> a little more literate. But yeah, I mean, it just doesn't help your case. Wow, dude. What? What? He's got a cleft palate. <laughs> what is wrong with you, dude? He tells a little pe- more literate. He's, he tells wow. the people I'm illiterate. Bill, big brain. He tells them I'm illiterate. <laughs> as a joke, dude. <laughs> yeah, but supposedly fucking um. Cuomo's coming back. Who? Which Andrew. One? The the governor. Yeah, he's governor. he's get, he's getting rid of all. He's saying he's fighting all of his rape allegations, and they're just not true. I mean, hats off to him if they're not. But yeah, I I've, I am a hundred percent on board of your idea that that was an attack from way back when he said he was going to pull funding from the yeshiva schools. Yes. And you know those are local clips. They're not going to play them on the national news. Absolutely not. That was a. I think that. I think that, that was, was a real, honey smacking. That was a real constructed takedown of that dude. Yeah, it was insane. Now, like, 
the same thing with when I was reading that article about um who's print- out here hot mic and recording phone calls, man. That's spooky. Like he's on he's got hot mic. Saying what? Oh, they're acting all big and bad now. Wait till you he- wait till I pull the funding. That's on. Uh, that's on. That's on a phone call. Yeah, that was a pro- That was probably a pretty penny to get that. And he was talking to a girl, and I don't know who he was talking to, but he was like, "Oh yeah, you know they're out. Of, they they're not falling in line to the restrictions now. Let's see what happens if I pull their funding." Yeah, dude. They had their whole. There's a whole world in New York of yeshiva schools. They have their own buses, and yeah, all this shit. That. All this shit is. All of this stuff is funded. Yeah. Like, this isn't bu- out of their own pennies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I understand, because they were giving him all that cash, and he was giving, like, they were, like, they were giving each other money. What are you talking about? Cuomo and the uh, Hasidics. Well, Cuomo, I guess, approves funding. Yeah. That comes from the uh, Fed. Oh, okay. That, that goes sense. to these Kickback. shiva schools. Yeah. And then if he was like, I'm not going to play that game anymore, and if he had taken kickbacks in the past from this paid play... Yeah. Now, the only thing I have is I don't think that, obviously, this is a little weird, but I think that the fucking sexual assault was fucking fake. Like, I think he put that out because that dude legitimately bodied grandparents in retirement homes. So you think it was... You think it's a... Double cross, bro. (laughs) I think that it's like a threat. And I feel like Adam Curry said this. What? I feel like it's like you're gonna go down on a me too. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like we're not gonna let this other story. Yeah. We're definitely. we're not gonna let Rem Desivere go out because that'll take the whole ship down. Yeah, which is insane. And they're pushing it. They they released it. They're trying to put Rem De- Rem Desivere on kids now. I know. It's it, as, and it actually yo, kills people as kid uh, kids as large as seven pounds. How do you do? How that? seven pounds of meat gonna handle Rem Desivere, dude? It's killing like grown adults. <laughs> and the sickest uh, thing about Rem Desivere If a is, child survives that, he's primal. <laughs> if, like, Rem Desivere is patented by Fauci, too. Yeah, sure. Gilead product, yeah. Which is insane, because my buddies keep saying, oh, we won, the pandemic's over, the pandemic's over. Like, no, it isn't. I mean, dude, how many times have they thought they won their little lines in the sand? They went and got boosted, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I think they're going to fade it into, I saw a thing about the nasal spray vaccine boosters they're gonna fade it into a bunch of bullshit products it will become like the fucking flu vaccine yeah it'll be like getting a yeah, emergency or, and shit like yeah, that yeah where people are like oh yeah whatever like i had covid you yeah know, like they'll they will somehow get out of this oh they're not gonna fucking pay for there this. there won't be like a whole society overthrow over this no because they've got people fucking brainwashed bro and they got all the right people paid yeah so if they like they just made money that'll last them forever i think what happened with cuomo is he was being a bad boy someone got wind of him threatening to take away some money somewhere some dudes came up with some shit because remember that one guy was like he better watch out because we have the media yeah yeah. remember that one dude yep uh i don't know if he was just orthodox or whatever he is but he was like we have the media he better watch out how easy would it be especially with a fucking italian stallion like him to throw a couple girls in the office that are like kind of game you know what i mean like i i don't know what it feels like yeah for have i I will once i start to really glow Mm -hmm. but like you know maybe day i'm not real day counter but maybe day 20. you're not about high days i'll feel like cuomo but like if you're in the office and you're the governor Forget that. You I mean, have his whole life p- has been him getting pussy whenever he wants. He's yeah. the governor. He was the f- son of a fucking... He's the son of, like, a very... He's the head of the DNC. Really? Yeah. Jesus It's like being Podesta's Christ. son. Yeah, so that dude was... I mean, he's been getting pussy his whole life. He's been drowning in pussy his whole life, and it's like... He's the perfect politician. Yeah, and if you throw a couple girls in the office and just be... And activate them, be like, yo... You got also, some orthodox dudes being like, yo, we'll, we'll break you off with fucking... We'll clear off your student loans. Just Definitely. play games with them. And it's like, just let him grab your ass a little bit. No problem. No big deal. Yeah. And, like, dude, he might have stepped out of line because he was feeling a little too big for his britches. He was holding those press conferences every fucking day. He thought he was the next Roosevelt, Get, yeah. Getting the man of the year. My mom was all over that motherfucker. And then they just, everyone dropped it. Yeah, De Niro. I just watched a great, what movie did I just watch with De Niro? Was it the one with the Joker you were talking about? No, I just watched one. This is how brain dead I am. This might have been last night. 
It's all good. This is how retarded I am, dude. I'm gone. Day by day. We don't we don't worry about the past. Oh, Ronan. Really? Yeah. Someone uh, told me to watch Ronan's it. Ronan's fucking nice, dude. Is it really? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can hate De Niro because, like, Obviously. of his Trump shit. Yeah. I mean, you, like, hate him. But, like, until he did that. It's not Trump shit. Until he did that, until he got busted. Oh. Actually, when he was making Ronan is when he was. That was in France? That was in France. Jeez. It's filmed in France where the, he was inquiring about underage brothels. He was just admiring. But, dude, I don't blame him because it, I mean, I do blame him. Whoa. You can't go under it. Yo, 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 yo. Whoa. Chill, chill. It's day 12. Bro, have That's some out. sympathy, oh. dude. James P. Validated. No, I'm saying. <laughs> I will fucking, dude. Delete that. Good, good. Um, fucking, uh, if you watch De Niro, he's where in the movie, there's an IRA chick, right? Yeah. Smoke show. One of the hottest Youngling. chicks. No, she's not young. She's yeah. just an actor. But, like, in the show, like, they're, they make out a little bit. Yep. He's got, like, a love interest. He likes black chicks, though, so he might not have been What's this have to do with the 17-year-old brothels? When he was making this movie, he was working with this hottie. Oh, and you think he had to get some... He might have had to release. He's fucking Robert De Niro. That's why I don't, I don't understand how... What are you any, talking about? Why mm-hmm. do these dudes have to go to brothels? You can't just walk down the street and be like, hey, what's up? Dude, it's, you're, you're paying them to leave, bro. Right on. Yeah, what's the difference between a fat chick and a washing machine? What? Fat chicks don't call every week after you dump your load. Comedy <laughs> Yeah, I'll look up the chick, uh, the IRA chick from uh, Ronan. Yeah, but I, I think he that dude definitely, uh, Cuomo definitely got too big for his britches and just fucking probably shit the bed like most WAPs do. WAPs created the speed wobble, dude. <laughs> they get the so wobbles? yeah, they get so successful. Uh, it's so it's funny, like cocaine sh- or sniz that gets them knocked out. So funny when they're spiraling out. It's all the same. It's over and over again. It's fucking. It's like crazy. watching the same movie over and over again. That's I like. That's, they're like NPCs. It's like a, a fucking boot of NPCs. They're just a fucking chaotic Westworld character. <laughs> like they get up, they have a great upbringing. Oh, Their man. fucking parents love the shit out of them. They have a new car when they're fucking 20, 19. The, the Guinea Prince situation is something that we should probably deal with. I think if you get married and you are an Italian woman, I think it should be mandated that you have two kids. And if you're incapable, you should adopt two. Yeah, chick's fucking hot. So she like sat in the movie, like she sits on his lap and starts making out with him. So you think I'm just saying that's a scene. He had to make that. How many times did they do that? Yeah. How many times did they try that during the day? He might have got horned up. And then had inquired about And the he might like young underage black chicks, hypothetically. All right. I I'm can see saying. where you're going there. I'm just saying. Not but, me. Not a guy like me. I like her. I like the IRA guy. You like you know? the older woman. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking She's about? She's got what? hips. Does she? Dude, it's day 12. Let's talk about something else. Dude, I'll tell you <laughs> what, though. Overall, like, my room, cleaned it. Shout out Jordan Peterson. My fucking, <laughs> my, ca- my, ca- my, ca- my truck, clean as fuck. My fucking work truck, the trash truck, clean as fuck. And you hung a wall of sheetrock yesterday. Yeah, come on, dude. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to <laughs> oh, me. You came, you, you came at me, bro. That was so even hard, dude. You know that. <laughs> I was like, damn. How am I even on the second coat already? Yeah, you're a fast you're a fast <laughs> taper. And, uh, oh, my God. Like, it was a crumbling ruins that I brought back like a fucking. Thank God Atlantean for lasers. Thank God. Thank God. You should do an ad right now for the Bosch laser. Bosch fucking three plane laser. Yeah, plus? yeah, whatever. I don't know. And the other, I'm I not mean, laser guy. Like I literally don't trust them. I don't know why, but I was all I way. wanted was for you to throw a regular level on it, just so we could see. And then you saw it after the sheet rock. It's was fine, it? yeah, because it's a fucking laser beam, dude. I'm a luddite. You I hit understand. me with all this road stuff. You hit me with these laptops. Oh, dude, it's screen share. I don't. This stuff spooks me, bro. <laughs> And I got a soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. not used to this, man. Well, look at you now. Yeah, we're dude. We'll get there. But yeah, the uh, Thank lasers you for in- tolerating my existence. <laughs> <laughs> lasers in construction is the best thing that has ever been created because I remember when I was real young, and then <laughs> the funniest shit was when you had the laser. You were cutting a line. You had the laser, and we had snap the chalk line, and you left the laser on. It was the best because my. <laughs> My my blade, if I was on, it was glowing my green. Blade. And then if if my arm was in the way, I could see the blue. And then like a goof klutz, you fucking hit it out of the way. <laughs> but I nonetheless, do you she know? <laughs> I'm 
a goof klutz. Yeah. Dude, you know what it's like for me to get up and down from knees, no. from the ground? No. I'll, you think I'm doing that in like, I'm going to the side, I'm falling to the side. Yeah. I got to get a kickstand, dude. I'm not standing straight up. Yeah, with what these I knees. what I imagine it's like, it's like when I'm in my dream and I'm like, "All right, if just I'm run up, forward." <laughs> if I'm up, if I'm up and you knock me down, I'm not getting right back up, dude. Yeah, that's like in my 600 pound yeah. life. You got the dude had to unbutton his pants and take <laughs> yeah. his pants off to get yeah. up, dude. That show is atrocious. If I get high days, who knows? It might heal my knees. I feel pretty good right now. I mean, I I wake up with fucking agonizing boners, but other than that, I'm good. Yeah. Throughout the day, if we're driving around, it's a little fucked up. The Chinese guy is starting to make a lot of sense. What? His whole thing was like, if you're going to teach the boy to masturbate, you would tell him to poo, to please the woman. Yes. But the whole thing of SR is just to please the woman. Yes. You have to create a blade. You are the blade. You have to sharpen the blade, and then you need yeah. to find a proper sheath to hold said blade. Exactly. We're next level podcast already. <laughs> yeah, but that I was like, damn. I'm like sitting there like all horned up in the morning. Usually I wake up in the morning like, mm, so just me again. Yeah, your face morphs into jockey, just erection. Good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like blade, ready to meet sheath. Yeah. It, it is a fucking, it's a very, I'm feeling a little normal. I mean, it could just all be fucking placebo. I cannot spill, dude. But I cannot have a fucking knock. I'll tell you what, even if it is placebo, the time spent. Thinking about the jerk, oh, the jerk, I the mean, post jerk. Yeah. Think about all that. Think about all the times you've been thinking about the jerk and not thinking about the road broadcaster, <laughs> not thinking about the short SMB 7B mics or whatever the fuck they are. <laughs> You're wasting so much goddamn time thinking about and jerking I'm not, off to I mean, other dudes' proud. fucking chicks. Yeah. Or less be important if you're not. Dude, I'll tell you what. Payman fucking sending those gifts. For, yo, no, no lie. Straight up. As soon as I saw another dude, I was like, that's gay. Porn's gay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So what's the deal with lesbian porn, though? Is that alpha? <laughs> I think it is. I think it's time to just, if we did. Shout I out probably, the king of lesbian porn. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, and he's so mad right now. Yeah. So but, uh, retaining beta. Yeah, I think the only the only thing you can do is just goon lesbian porn <laughs> and not come. come. Yeah. You just goon lesbian porn and do not spill. I might just hold it down like I did when I was fucking real young watching Girls Gone Wild videos. Yeah. No idea just about the jerk. press it in the floor, dude. No idea about the jerk, dude. Yeah. I wish I never met the jerk. For real, bro. It, that's a whole existence that we didn't get to and that was that they told us what they told us not to do it yeah i never had, then, i never got a sex talk though from my parents yeah but i mean it's at school yeah you went to catholic school pretty clear bro what not allowed to do that oh yeah but you know you someone slides busting up my butt in my fucking brother's bedroom and i find it who created that the devil a little place called hollywood let me tell you about the holly tree well, <laughs> yeah, like, dude, we, we've been over it. Shit's free for a reason. It's not good for you. There was a, I mean, I won my competition this week. I'm pretty sure Colton may be still there. I have no idea, but. What a sad competition, dude. They all quit. Joe, the double vax cousin of mine, couldn't quit. stay off, so she just gave it up. Yes. Decided to buy you dinner so they could look at Instagram. You know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to buy a bunch of shit from, like, Budokan or some shit and just not eat it. Just throw it out. Wow, in Get the a face, steak. videotape, yeah. you just throwing it out. Yeah, just extra plates of everything. You know what you should do is order up like a really fancy dinner, have it delivered, and then tell the dude, yo, man, it's yours. Good point. You know, because I, pay yeah. it forward, man. I Yeah, that might be a good idea. Damn, dude. that's You don't have a thought like that no. when you're jerking off. <laughs> For real. Doing good to people. <laughs> you're, you're like, give me my food. Give me my fucking Shake Shack. Yeah, yeah, I need yeah. a jerk. I'm going from... I need the jerk. Yeah, I'm going from Sith to Jedi. Yeah, good point, dude. If you yeah. do jerk, you it's are the light sick. side of the force. Yeah, but fucking the dark side of the force, is like do it, do it. I I can't get over. It. I was thinking about that the other night. Like all that time I spent, where it's like mm, yeah. we're talking lifetimes, bro. I, I'm not one to get into a porn hole, but I mean, there's been, I am. <laughs> yeah, there's been. I mean, that's insane. Then if you're a porn hole man, yeah, dude. There's like hours where I'm like, what am I gonna do? That's fucked. Yeah. And now look at you, though. Yeah, dude. Look at me. Back I have a busy action. week. I have a busy week. I have many yoga classes scheduled already. Really? Yeah. That is absolutely insane. I did not know that until he told me on uh, Monday that you have to fucking now pre-schedule because yeah. someone got sick. Mm -hmm. And do they, I'll show you the disclaimer. 
I don't want to see it. Yeah. That that just pisses me off. This shit is the stuff that pisses you the off. The thing that's crazy is in their disclaimer, it says signing up for a class means you agree to it. Yes. That's fucked. Well, they I, do that with every everything you download on your phone is that. Yeah, every, I know. And I guarantee you that shit you're talking about, the trucks, there's going to be all kinds of stuff they'll sneak in there. Fuck yes, dude. You know what I mean? They're getting all like, your if you want to, <clears throat> if, if you want to have this, uh, what is it? Like AI dims your high beams. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's eight ninety nine a month. In those, in that like uh, terms of service, there's going to be other shit that you're agreeing to with surveillance, listening into the like. They're probably just trying to listen to people in, in their cars so that on the Astro, bro. Nah, man. That's what I'm saying. That thing's going to look like. That's why I'm painting the, my truck. Empire Strikes Back. I'm going to fucking re, like refurbish my entire truck. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be like Cause Mad Max style. They, like it's all the internet of things where like, dude, they're just, they're siphoning the fucking data from you. I feel like one, they have to ha be at like a fucking critical mass of data. Dude, who knows? It's also a way for people to sell. So if you're an investor, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like this could all be Fugazis. And I've read about that in that age of surveillance capitalism book. It's like surveillance capitalism is a whole business where people yeah. are like, oh, data's worth money. We'll invest in that. And they're not doing, they can't, they're not getting anywhere. It's just knowledge. Yeah. It's in that Adam, Cur it's in the last Adam Curtis. It's like, dude, they collect all this data and they still can't figure anything out. But this is a money go round. Yeah. So it's like, if you're an investor, you're like, okay, what kind of return can I get off of these data companies? They show profits. But dude, you don't know, like you yeah, can manipulate it's data. so fake. Yeah. There's a whole thing like, um, what's that book that Bill Gates had? So he, Bill Gates is... Oh, in the background? Yeah, he's giving oh, like fuck. a speech and in the background it's like how to lie through statistics. Yes, yes. There's people that lie through, there's, there's dudes that are paid to lie about how much Nothing money. Nothing safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if I'm even making sense. I sense, drank too yeah. much coffee. Yeah, I was like, I thought like in uh, like the disclaimer, I'm about to say something about cryptocurrency, everyone. The, you know those little hard drives that people are losing in the fucking trash and shit? Yeah. I watched a dude hack one of them the other day. He's like, yeah, I, he got into it. Like they're supposed to be unhackable. Oh, I thought he was password. hacking it for the bro. He is. He was oh, okay. hacking it for the dude who forgot the password. Dude, did you so, see the guy in New York with the gold, the NFT? No. All right. I mean, disclaimer, earmuffs for anybody that doesn't want to hear anything about NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> There's a dude that had an $11.7 .7 million gold cube as an art, an artist. Here we go. Physical this cube. Physical cube of gold. Yes. At a special foundry in S the Switzerland, they poured... This thing's probably like knee high. It's a knee high cube. Jesus Christ. Obviously, people are going to go nuts on the fucking Saturn black yeah. cube shit. But uh, dropped it off in Central Park is like an art installation yep. just for one day only. Yeah. And then there's like pictures of it. And those are the NFT. Like he's got NFTs, yeah, yeah. crypto attached to it. Yep. That's like it. this is like next level NFT stuff. Like it's, go it's backed by a, go a piece of gold. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I guess so. But yeah, this yeah, that, it's just so confusing, dude. It's crazy. Did to anyone say. try to steal it? Dude, it's huge, man. I mean, I don't know how much this thing weighs. I'll look it up. I'll show it to you. Eleven million dollars of fucking gold. Eleven point seven, almost twelve, bro. I mean, Parker Schnabel's bringing in some shit like that with his fucking weigh-ins, bro. That's huge, bro. It's cool. It's pretty shiny. And he's just standing next to him in the middle of a park. Yeah, he and has like to have like the U.S. Army next to him, bro. And like it's like art. Tied in with crypto, real con real social commentary in the twenty first century. Yeah. Anyway, go on. They'll probably collab now that it's just there's going to be an way. auction for that NFT. It's probably going to go nuts. Really? Compared to like, yeah, I mean, you said your boy got a ton oh, of money yeah. for the tiki's. I mean, what the fuck? That, I feel like they, that like, auction is going to be insane. The art world is just slowly figuring out an easier way to fucking uh, wash cash. It's like, yeah, we don't really need you artists anymore. We can just uh, you know do this later. Yeah. Right. One day they will fucking, the art world will come to terms and start doing the digital stuff. Yeah, he's got his own crypto. So he has his own crypto that's attached to this physical artwork, and the initial price of it is 44 cents. That's confusing me. What do you mean? Like his crypto coin. Yeah, yeah. Is worth 44 cents. And then That's it, the IPO or whatever. So like it's to the moon after that. Like a one Bitcoin is. You're claiming, you're, you're not a <clears throat> uh, financial advisor, but you're saying invest, invest, invest. <laughs> 
There will also be an NFT auction later uh, in February. I just thought I'd let everyone know. <laughs> and also, <laughs> before we go into the Patreon, this episode was brought to you by HappyCampers.com. HappyCampers.com. Happy campers. <laughs> All right, we'll go into the. Uh, let's see if this worked. If not, uh, we're fucked. <laughs>